If you can watch the whole video, we are sure that your physical fitness and tennis playing skills will improve. So let's jump to Holger Room tennis practice and fitness training. Holger Room is a professional tennis player and he is known he knows that footwork is an essential part of his game. He spent hours every day practicing footwork, focusing on reaching the ball and recovering in minimum time. He knows that workout proper he knows that without proper work footwork he won't be able to perform at his best on the on the tennis court. Footwork is the foundation of any tennis player's game. It's all about how a player moves around the court, positioning themselves to hit the ball with power and accuracy. A player's footwork can make all the difference between winning short and a missed opportunity. For Holger, Footwork is about quick movement, agility, and balance. He starts by warming up his body with some stretching exercise to ensure that his muscles are loose and ready to move. Then he practices different footwork drills that focus on lateral movement, forward and backward movements, and pivoting. One of the Holger's favorite footwork drills is the ladder drill. The ladder the drill involves placing a ladder on the ground, moving quick through the rugs, alternating between moving forward and backward. The drills helps him to improve his footwork speed and coordination, um, allowing him uh, to move quickly around the court. Another drill that Holger practices is that is the cone drill. The drill involves placing cones in the different position on the court and then moving quickly between them. The drills helps him to improve his footwork in different directions, making him more agile and flexible on the tennis court. Holger also practices footwork drills that involve hitting the ball. He works on his footwork when hitting forehand, backhands and volleys, ensuring that he always he is always in the right positioning to hit the ball with the power and accuracy. In addition to practicing, uh, practicing footwork drills, Holger also pays attention to his footwork during matches. He, he, he is always aware of his positioning on the tennis court, ensuring that he is in the right place to hit the ball. He also recovers quickly after uh, each shot, allowing him to be ready for the next one. He spends a lot of time on the tennis court, perfecting his techniques and improving his skill. He is focused on his forehand in practice relentlessly to make it even stronger. Holger is a left-handed uh, player and has a unique style of playing. He stands at the baseline and waits the ball to come his way. Once he gets the ball, he takes a quick step forward and unleashes a powerful fund that is difficult for his opponent to return. Holger's coach, Patrick, is always looking for ways to help him improve his game. As today, he instructed Holger to work on his forehand return slice. The slice is a quick way for players to players slice the ball, slice the ball with an uh, underhand motion, causing it to curve and spin as he travels towards the opponent. This technique can be uh, very effective as it often catches opponents off guard and focuses and forces them uh, to make an error. Holger starts by hitting some regular forehands to warm up. He hits the ball back and forth with his coach, gradually increasing the speed and power of his shots. His forehand is already strong but he wants to make it even more powerful. His coach watches carefully, offering advice and correcting his techniques when necessary. After several minutes of warm-up, Holger switches uh, his 400 return slice. He starts with a few slow control shots, getting the feel of the ball 
and the motion of the slice. His coach encourages him to use his wrist more, to generate more spin in the ball. Holger tries this and immediately sees a difference. The ball curves and spins, make it more difficult for his coach to return. And as he continues to practice, Holger gradually increases the speed and power of his shots. He, determined, he is determined to make his forehand return slice as strong as possible. His coach watches closely, offering advice and encouragement. He points out areas where Holger can improve his technique and, su and suggests ways to increase the power and spin of his shots. Just to add, Holger is a quick learner and is able to make adjustments quickly. With each shot, he is becoming more confident and more skilled. He can feel the power building up his in his forehand and he knows that he is making progress. After an hour of practice, Holger takes a break and rest and hydrate. He knows that it is important to take care of his body and stay hydrated, especially when practicing for long periods of time. When he returns to the court, he is ready to continue uh, with his practice and he and, he and his coach Patrick work on a variety of different shots, including cross, cross court forehands and warm up and down the line forehands. Holger coach is impressed with his progress and tells him that he is well on his he is well on his way to becoming a great player. Holger is a great is grateful for his coach guidance and and support. He knows that he is still has a long way to go but he is confident that he can achieve his goals with his hard work and dedication. He is excited, excited to continue practicing and improving his skills, and he looks forward to, to, to the day when he can compete at the highest level. Holger Rohn is likely incorporating strength training to his, to his training regimen to improve his physical performance on the court. Tennis is a sport that requires a combination of strength, power, speed and agility and strength training can help develop all these qualities one of the primary benefits of strength training is that it can help improve muscular strength and power by working with weights or other resistant equipment Rune can develop strong stronger and more efficient muscle fibers which can translate into faster and more powerful movement on the court for example a stronger upper body can help him generate more power and and his serves and volleys, while stronger legs can help him move more quickly and explosively around the court. In addition, improving strength and power, uh, strengthening training can also uh, help reduce the risk of injury by strengthening the muscles and connective and connective connective connective, connective tissue. Sorry. That support the joints, run can uh, be better with stand on the physical demand of the of the of the sport and reduce the risk of developing injuries such as sprain, strains, or overuse of. This is especially important for tennis players who often have to make sudden stops, starts, and changes of, dif of direction on the court. Strength training can also. Uh, improve overall physical health by increasing bone density, boosting metabolism, and reducing the risk of chronic diseases like arthropoiesis, diabetes, and heart disease. Rune cannot, cannot only improve his tennis performance, but also his overall heart and well-being. Even the most talented athletes know that there is always room for improvement, and Holger Rune is no exception. That's why he, he is constantly practicing himself which is considered one of the most important tennis sh shot. The serve is the, sh the shot that starts every point in tennis match. It is a crucial element for, of the game. As well as a well executed serve can give the players a significant advantage. A strong serve 
can result in a S, which is an unreturnable serve that results in a point for a server. A well-placed serve can also put the opponent on the defensive, making uh, it easier for the server to win the point. Hoga Rung understand the importance of a good serve, which is why he always working on improving his techniques. By practicing his serve, he can increase his speed, accuracy, and consistency. This means that he's all able to hit more S's, win more free points, and put more pressure on his opponents. In addition to tactical advantage of a strong serve, there is the are also physical benefits of serving uh, requires a lot of upper body strength and coordination. So, so practicing the serve can help build these muscles and improve overall fitness. It can also help prevent injuries uh, as a well-trained serving motion puts less strain on the body than a poorly executed one. By practicing the serve, it isn't just about physical preparation. It also requires a mental focus and discipline. Holger Rohn knows that to master this himself, he needs to be able to stay calm under pressure and maintain his concentration without the, throughout the match. By practicing his self regularly, he can, uh, he can build up his mental toughness and improve his ability to perform under stress. Finally, it's worth, finally, it's worth not noting that practicing the self is just one aspect of Holger Rohn's overall training regimen. He also works on his footwork, as we see, of, of motion, ground strokes, and other aspects of the game to ensure that he will well-rounded, uh, 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 well-rounded and prepared for all situations on the court. By 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 pu put, but by uh, practicing by prioritizing his self, sorry is able to gain an edge over his opponent and take his game to the next level. Eye-hand coordination is a critical skill that enables tennis players to anticipate their and react quickly to incoming balls. When Holger plays tennis, his eyes send visual signals to his brain with the process which, which processes the information sorry, and sends to its muscles to perform the necessary actions. Practicing eye-hand coordination helps Holger improve his reaction time, accuracy, and speed of his and his speed of his shots. By training his brain and muscle muscles to work together more efficiently, Holger can anticipate the next shot and respond quickly, gaining an edge over his opponent. Moreover, practicing eye-hand coordination is essential to reduce the risk of injuries while playing tennis. Holger's hand-eye coordination helps him to track the ball and place his body in the best position to hit the ball accurately. The, the better his coordination, the more efficient his movement will be, minimizing the risk of injury. Holger Rune, a professional tennis player, is practicing his backhand shot with the guidance of his coach. There are several reasons why Holger is focusing on this particular aspect of his game. So let's explore the importance of the backhand slice and how it can benefit Holger in tennis career. Firstly, the backhand slice is a crucial shot in tennis. It is a defensive shot that is used when a player is out of position or under pressure. It involves slicing the ball with the back with a backhand motion, causing it to spin and drop over the net with the less pace. This shot is essential in allowing the player to regain control of the point and potentially turn the tide on their favor. Secondly, Holger's coach has identified that his backhand slice needs improvement. By practicing this shot, Holger can refine his, ten his techniques and improve his accuracy, spin, and consistency. Holger's coach will guide him in the correct form grip and timing to execute the shot correctly. Thirdly, Holger's mental approach to the backhand slice is crucial. By focusing on this shot, Holger can build up his confidence um, and develop a positive mindset 
when under pressure. With the right mental attitude, Holger can remain calm and composed when facing a challenging situation on the court, allowing him to execute the shot effectively. However, practicing the backhand slice will also help Holger to develop his overall game. By improving his slice, he'll also improve his footwork, balance and timing. These skills will transfer to the areas in this his game, sorry, in his game, such as his forehand volley and serve. In addition, Holger's coach will keep him motivated to train hard to reach his goals by setting specific targets and monitoring Holger's progress, his coach will ensure that he remains on track and focused on his goals. This will help Holger to stay motivated and committed to his training, even when faced with challenges and setbacks. Finally, uh, by focusing on his backhand slice, Holger can differentiate himself from his opponent. Many players focus on, his fo on, on their forehand as their primary weapon leaving the backhand vulnerable. Uh, by, develop, by developing a reliable backhand slice, Holger can increase or Holger can surprise his opponent and gain competitive edge on the tennis court.